Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to a hot, sweaty car with a big dude drinking for your enjoyment. If you enjoy it. I hope you do. Hit my YouTube like just flashed in front of my eyes. Did it again. Today's drink of choice. Strawberry peach. What? Fuse or Fuse or Fuse. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Fruit flavored green tea. Hmm. Sodium's kind of high. <coughs> I've been thinking about uh, cutting back on sodiums mostly. I cook a lot of sodium. I love soy sauce. I'm a salt and pepper kind of guy, I get garlic. Those really are the three main things that I cook with. I mean, I, I have other stuff that I do, like Greek seasoning and uh, <coughs> Italian seasoning, uh, onion, powder, um, ginger, and uh, parsley, and all that fun stuff. You know, I, I do all that oregano, oregano to you. Um, it's, it's just that uh, I was just noticing Okay, I've always kind of noticed. I'm, uh, I'm obviously being a little big. A lot of water retention sometimes. And I've been thinking, it's like, you know, I need to modify the diet a little bit, obviously, do a little workout. Um, and just with COVID, it doesn't make me want to go around anybody, but that becomes kind of the excuse. Um, so, just do walking probably better. But um, this has, for the container, three servings, by the way. For the all the whole container, <coughs> sorry, 320 milligrams of sodium, 59 grams total carbs, has 220 calories. Um, so I mean, and the sugar is everything. So it's kind of like, but it also it is a tea, water and green tea, uh, tea powder. So I guess matcha or something. It's also by Coca Cola, so you get your points if you're into that. Ooh. I can smell that peach from here. Oh, I'm glad I first cracked it. <coughs> Goodness. It has been very warm. Oh, it's kind of smooth. Very nice. Uh, the peach and the strawberry really go together very well. It's very smooth. I like that. This this could be a jam. This could be a jam. Not bad. And the thing is, it's not. It's not a fresh peach. You know that 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 flavor, you know, like, like you're biting through it, but it is a good peach flavor. It's a sweeter... <coughs> okay, so, I go from 73 to 74 degree building to the hot outside. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and, obviously, I'm wearing a mask. Every time, if I go outside, I have to have a mask on when I go outside. I'm going from cold to warm when I go from back to warm to cold. And it makes me kind of... <coughs> I feel like I have something in the back of my throat. And it's very frustrating. Um, but, and it's it, it just just that change is so... It's just... Uh, it's exhausting. Um, and one day... You know, if I decide, if, if finances become different, if the world changes, you know, for me, like if my writing kicks off or, you know, if a YouTube, you know, is like, hey, you know, that's not it. If somebody wants to pay me to fly around and try things, test things, food, drinks, 
talk about it, write about it, articles and everything. That I'd be down. Um, I would I would travel. I would do it. Um, because I'm kind of at that point in my life where home is home, you know, and I've got my the dog and my cat, and I can have somebody watch them while I'm away, or if it's something I could drive to, I can keep my dog with me, you know, if I have like a, a B&B that has dog friendly, I'll, I'll take Gian with me no matter what, but it's one of those things where it's like, I, I don't have, like my home is kind of like my base of operations, but... <coughs> Getting out and doing something outside the COVID, I guess, um, isn't as bad as it used to be. Um, you don't have, I mean, obviously, well, being single, you don't have to worry about it as much. But, um, I have a lot of free time, is what I'm trying to say. And I don't have, I don't know if I have the capacity to sit there and stream the way some people do. Um, I mean, I have some really, there's some really cool streamers that I've talked to. They do some really good work. Um, like, not on, like, um, like there are some that I've talked a little bit with. Um, but I don't watch a lot of streaming. I, I like watching clip videos of streaming. And so that's one of the reasons why I like uh, Offline TV, um, Punk TV, and uh, Amy Would Love. She's awesome. And uh, a lot of these other streamers. Sweet Anita, for example, uh, Destiny, which I don't watch a lot of his stuff, um, but he's, I've, I've, I've heard of him mostly through offline, and <clears throat> it's one of those things where it's like, they're doing their thing and they're having a really good time. I don't know if I've got, I don't know if I have that in me to have a set schedule for recording every single day. Now, of course, yes, if I also didn't have my current job, and I was relying solely on dreaming, that wouldn't be so bad, really. I mean, honestly. But I just don't find myself to be that entertaining to have to, like, stare at me for long periods of time. Five, ten minute shoots, not so bad. I mean, maybe 20 minutes, but... This is really good. It doesn't... <coughs> Sometimes when you get a peach, it kind of it's a bit bites of the taste buds and then the strawberry you'll have that overripe flavor this is a very nice strawberry with a very simple peach and it's cold and it, it just it just blows up and it just in your taste buds and just it's like wow that is nice I don't taste the green tea at all which I'm not as much of a warrior about that I'm I've never been a big fan of green tea just on its own. Uh, I will drink it, especially if it's, <clears throat> you know, like traditional like green tea. You know, I, I've, I've had that. that it's, it's bitter, but it's, it's, it's good. It's good for you. Um, but it's, yeah. So whenever you get a flavored tea, it ends up becoming less like tea and more like a juice, even though it contains 0% juice. Now, I'm not saying this is a healthy drink. Um, it's, you know, I'm not gonna, yeah, definitely not going to say that. Um, it's not the, you know, that, it's, like, you should only drink foods. You'd be a fool's not to drink. But, their drinks are actually fairly decent, and they're not, and uh, they have decent sized drinks, so that you can take this and have it for a bit. Go this would talk to your friends, you know. Have a little shin wag. Uh, but no, um, really good foods, really good drinks. Um, they always complement each other. And I don't, I honestly, this is a very summertime y kind of drink. I think it'd be awesome to have at the beach. Um, or if you're just with, out with friends, uh, it's a very good drink. It's not carbonated. It's, it's very smooth. Um, like I said, 
it's it's a really good drink. I really like it. In fact, um, I, I kind of almost want to give this like a nine. Um, it gets a five, and I'm going to give it. I am. I am. Uh, no. I'm going to give it an eight. I'm going to give it five, and I'm going to give it an eight. The reason why, you know. Could I get tired of that flavor? That's what you gotta ask yourself. It's a good flavor. I can see this mixing with stuff. Uh, it's a, it's, shoot, let's get do it. Five and nine, gets five and nine. And this is a top tier drink. I really enjoy it. Anyway, tell me what you think if you tried it before. As always, I am Sir Drinks a Lot and I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love with enough time and gusto to enjoy it all, down to the last drop. Ugh. Catch you guys in the next one.